What's going on everybody? In today's video, we're gonna be looking at how you can use OpenAI or really any LLM, Anthropic, etc. in your N8N scenarios, all right? How you can actually set these up, what are the different functionality within the different nodes. N8N has a really, really cool way of doing things that helps you if you wanna do things like rags and a bunch of other cool stuff. We're gonna dive right into it. All right, so we're going to walk through some of the basics of the N8 and AI um, nodes and how it all works. And um, yeah, I'm going to be doing more in-depth videos showing you specifics of, you know, setting, you know, specific things up. And I'll show you that in just a second when I'm talking about. Um, but I know when I first started using NAM and I looked at the AI bots and, you know, the different nodes, I was kind of like, oh, this is cool. But there's also... I mean, if you're used to something like make.com or if you're used to, I mean, just anything other than um, maybe do it like actually building out rags or using uh, AI within like the command line or within um, your own SaaS products or whatever, you may have had some trouble understanding how um, to actually use it within N8N. I'll show you that in just a second. But for those of you who don't know what N8N is, it's essentially like an alternative to maybe Zapier or make.com bit more i guess advanced if you want to say um a little bit more of a learning curve it's not too difficult and um it does have provide you a lot more freedom though i really really love this tool um there's not enough videos on youtube about this tool showing you different things so hopefully um you can check out some of my other videos too if you're new to it and you'll get some value there setting it up um i've covered videos on how to actually self-host it within your own vps etc because the, the great thing about N8N is one, yes, the functionality is super, super good. You have a lot more freedom than other apps, even Make and uh, Zapier. But also, too, you can, it's open source and you can self host it. So you can put it on your own VPS. And where other tools, you know, Zapier may charge you a couple thousand a year or whatever, for depending on how much scenarios you're using. It could be even more if you're using a lot of scenarios or using a lot of executions or whatever. Um, same thing with make, even though it's a lot cheaper than Zapier it, price, trust me, can stack up You'd be spending a few thousand, even five thousand, ten thousand dollars a year. If you're using like a good amount of X scenarios, right? Um, like for example, I spent, uh, <clears throat> just over like 200 bucks on, or just around 200, I believe, uh, on make.com <laughs> scenarios in the, the following month, right? So obviously it can stack up. Um, good thing about NAN is, you know, if you're self-hosting it, you get unlimited executions, unlimited runs, so it's awesome. Anyways, check out some of my other videos if you're new to NAN. But once you're actually here, we'll get into like if I go to, um, we're, we'll just show some tests um, here, so I can just do a trigger for the workflow, and you'll see that me or NAN has this advanced AI section, and you know it has other sections too, like you can run code, do all these other cool things and um, that's all awesome but we're going to be looking at the advanced ai and building autonomous agents summarize or search documents etc so this is really cool one you can look at their templates here they provide templates part of their community so you can check these out they have some cool templates and we'll even look at some of these just to give you a sense of what can actually be done here so we can filter there's different categories here like yes you can look at engineering or devops or marketing or business or finance or sec ops whatever we're going to obviously look at ai and we'll look at these in just a second and get some good ideas of use cases but before we even get there i want to just kind of go over some of the functionality we have so here we have ai agent and we'll actually cover that actually we don't need a trigger as a as a click because this automatically gives us a trigger as a chat and you can trigger it with anything. It could be a webhook. You don't need this chat here, but this is basically like if you wanted to, um, you could talk to it. Uh, but let's just see here. So there's the AI agent. There's also to go here. There's open AI where you can do like create an assist, uh, where you can do like the standard stuff, like, um, you can message an assistant, you can message a chat. So it's just a basic node there. 
um basic llm chat you could use this for certain things it's just basically this except basic it doesn't have memory or tool and then question and answer chain and then advanced summarize chain okay and then we also have some other ai nodes so we have document loaders language models this is just all the language models so we have anthropic ws bedrock azure, uh, azure uh google gemini palm grok hugging face mistral olama uh open ai and we have memory so this is actually a lot of these are so we can see like memories over here but um we have miscellaneous vector stores embeddings tools text splitters retrievers output parsers and etc and i'm not going to be able to cover like every single little thing in this video i just want to give you a good understanding so you kind of know what these are what it is and maybe some of what you can actually do and then in, in future videos i'm going to show you in depth maybe more about setting some of this up setting up uh different um you know uh vector stores or embeddings and all that good stuff um you can use tools like Superbase, um pinecone um so i'm going to be doing more videos in the future on Superbase as well and um and then yeah so over here you can choose like for ai agent you can choose the model so let's just say i chose open ai okay you would connect your open ai account you could just do that with the api key same process goes for any model then you could select memory so standard one is the, that's the easiest just this window buffer memory there's also these other options so motorhead redis chat memory zeta and then zep um so like this one's the easiest um at least that's you know that's what they say um and window buffer memory so you would take the session id you could take it from previous node automatically or you could define it below you would get the key from the previous like say if we were running something here um we could get our own session id key here and this key is used to store the session id in the memory so essentially this is just like memory so it will mem remember previous chats um okay and there's so this is good um so if you if you use something like make.com i did a video on this a few days ago um you may be used to like if say if i'm messaging an agent on OpenAI. I can it can give me the thread id and then i can just like say if this was a node this is a, just a node you got the thread id from the messaging the agent then in the next node i could just reference that thread id and i wouldn't have to re-input all the like the a longer context window of what they previously said so i found that really useful because you can save tokens now in n8n um you can't put the thread id can't put the thread id so <clears throat> i did a video a few days ago where i showed you how to actually get that same process done just by using the api docs and using http requests to open ai then you have to send the thread id um so you can do it that way but um you know that's that's how i kind of did it for some but this using these the actual nan um the nodes so I mean, you could use these ones, so retriever, so contextual, compressor retriever. Um, and to be, like, I haven't even experimented with all these yet, so I'm just going to kind of tell you guys what I've learned so far, and I'm going to go more in depth in future videos, but I was kind of confused when I first, like, started seeing all this because I was honestly used to something like make.com, where it's very simple you just have the ai module a node etc and then you just it's very simple and then it's it's still very simple once you get the hang of it um but it's you know it's a bit i guess a bit more of a learning curve and just a few extra things like memory here i haven't tried out all of these different memory stores like some like the thing is this one's obviously free that's why it's easiest window buffer memory these ones like this one is open source but um i don't think they're there, there's no they're not uh this is like depreciated or whatever they're not uh currently updating it and support or something like this i just saw on their github so 
don't know if i would necessarily maybe use that one i don't know um there's redis chat memory zeta and zep so those they're all they have some free plans but then there's also uh paid options but yeah so those are a couple memory options tools so this is like let's say you can use like calculator um so you, if you want to do calculations custom code tools so you can write json or python or javascript or python serp ai to access google search data wikipedia wolfram alpha and then you can also connect custom n8n workflow tools so i could do this and i could actually um <clears throat> connect it to one of my other n8n scenarios and you put the workflow id here id here and then it this agent would actually go ahead run that scenario too if needed um but yeah like if we were to run it and you would put wikipedia here and then actually answer uh it was a question that i asked it about something that it would get from wikipedia then we would when we would go here and see the output we would actually be able to see um that it actually did do use this tool all right so this is like basically giving it different options doesn't always necessarily like if you put a calculate here and ask it like a question not regarding math and it won't need to use the calculator and same thing with like the workflow or the what like any of these tools right they're just things that you can give it all right and let me see i guess you can give it multiple tools so that's cool as well you can put like wikipedia you can give it a calculator if you want memory so you could just use window buffer memory and here's where you select the context window length so a number of previous messages to consider for the context and um yeah so let's see there's also ai um other ai nodes so open ai chat memory langchang code so you can connect it to langchang and i'll be doing more videos on langchang in the future and parser so parsing the output um and there is i also want to show you guys so document loaders default data loaders uh where are we oops i've been really looking into uh super super base lately so i'm excited to get more into that and to be able to show you guys some videos on that in the future so stay tuned for that but if we go over to the templates section here i just want to show you guys some different things that you could do so let's just say i'm going to filter this by popularity all right so here we have an ai chat agent so this is actually you can see who created some of these so this is scrape uh web pages and summarize with ai um telegram chat bot so here we'll look at take a look at some of these right here so scrape and summarize web pages with ai so we can click to explore here and basically scrape latest paul graham essay so we would do an http request get request to that website then we are extracting essay names all right source data json property okay so extraction values and the css selector so doing that then we're splitting the items I'm not going to go through the whole technical stuff here if you want to use this you can easily just import this out into your make account you can see here then once we get the essay text we're using a summarized chain all right here with open ai and a json input loader okay so i guess this is probably json text yeah and then recursive character splitter and extract title and then we're merging the title and summary and then we're cleaning up the data let's take a look at this one this is a little bit more um a little bit more basic and and easy probably to you know look at for a first time and understand everything so this is just an ai agent chat so conversational agent model chat gbt memory window buffer we're using the chat history series session key from the previous um open ai module and then context window length five and then a tool is our serp api account 
and output parser. I guess you could add that too. Um, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to go over some brief, you know, things regarding the N8N, uh, you know, AI features, the nodes, kind of what they do in, in a very broad sense. We're going to be diving more in depth um, in future videos, all right, where I actually show you exactly certain things I'm building out, how I'm actually using these tools, how I'm using, um, you know, we're building out the databases in the back end, whether it's on Superbase or whatever, um, to actually like have um, info to train the bot on and, and whatnot and how I'm actually doing that. So I'm excited for those videos. Um, and I hope this gives you somewhat of like an understanding of what the functionalities within NAN are. If you're new to NAN or if you saw the AI features in NAN and you didn't really know what they actually do um yeah this is the memory is just to summarize the model obviously selects the model memory is like basically you can either just use this window buffer which is keeps it within the workflow and it's essentially remembering whatever chat you have here but if you use like a different memory type like one of these you can like put uh get it from the uh the database whether it's on zada redis etc and um and then I'm trying to find super base. Yeah, and then vector stores. Um, you can use tools like Superbase and some other ones for vector stores. We're gonna get into that in future videos. All right. So, like I said, just wanted to give you guys overview of this great tool NAN and the AI capabilities of it. You can use Langchang. You can use OpenAI. You can use uh, Mistral. You can use Grok, you can use um, Quad, Anthropic, so it's really awesome if you actually are able to learn these things. Um, the possibilities are really endless, and if you are, do get stuck while learning these things, like if you have a question about what something does, my suggestion, yes, you can ask me in the comments down below, and I'll definitely um, be more than happy to assist you, but um, always ask ChatGPT or always ask Claude, you know, that's what they're there for, be your, your guide, your tutor. And yeah, you can learn things super, super quick with these tools. It's really, really insane. So other than that, guys, um, if you're new here and you haven't already joined our Stride community, it's a free group of like-minded entrepreneurs, individuals, uh, AI enthusiasts, etc. Link for that will be in the description down below. We have about 750 to 800 members in our Stride community. Also too, guys, if you haven't already checked out my book, Client Acquisition Code, go check that out. Link will, for that will be in the description down below. And then other than that, guys, if you're new here, make sure to smash that subscribe button. We upload videos every day on AI, automation, um, you know, growth, growth hacking, marketing, etc. cetera. Um, so stay tuned for that. I will see you in tomorrow's video, guys. Keep hustling, keep grinding. And of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.